1698.1. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're going to create a trash to treasure, which is a uh, hashtag trash to treasure, hashtag creative arts collaboration event. For, uh, and it's going to be our last uh, hashtag event uh, because from now on we're going to be doing festivals uh, about once a quarter so there you go any hoots I chose to make a journal and I showed you those long paper bags They're, they measure like 18 and a half inches <laughs> really long paper bags a friend of mine actually threw them in the garbage I fished them out. She says, well, we used to do those when we did the, made the wine and, you know, I don't need them. I'm, I'm cleaning up my studio, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, they're mine. So they actually were trash. And this is a gift bag that you see me folding on. And uh, I, other than doing this with it, I guess it could be trash too. But I saved it for this project. Sorry about the wind blowing. I am outside. And... Uh, it's trying to be a little windy and a little rainy. I like sitting down here on the breezeway. So y'all saw me folding that up. The measurements are really not that important because it all depends on what size gift bag you're doing, what size you want your papers to be, et cetera, et cetera. So I made basically a half inch, you know, uh, a portion inside there for the spine. And that is a reinforcement uh, chipboard piece because I'm going to be doing a Midori style closure using a hairband and I have found through my experience that if you use a chipboard reinforcement piece in the spine like that it helps uh, to keep that uh, your outside cover and your pages inside from getting that little winkly dinkly crunchy spot in them so yeah now we're going to use some little binders to hold that in uh, list of ingredients below. It's windy. You hear that? Yeah, wind chimes too. So anyway, I'm measuring, even though I don't answer no ruler, I'm just kind of getting a, a generic uh, eyeball because, you know, my measurements actually don't come out that well. So I'm scoring my paper bag. I've not cut anything yet because I'm going to have a flip out I'm going to have the signature and on the other side there it's going to be a flip out and I'm going to measure for a cut because I'm going to cut it because this is not going to flip out that far. Flip it down. Be crazy y'all. Be crazy. So taking a long time to measure I guess. Hmm. Who knew I was quite so precise and then I'm just going to get the little cutter. I think you sh I'll show you how I do basically two pages. I used um, I believe three three bags I'm not sure and I did allow room for the journal to grow and get fluffy because that's what happens when you push put stuff in there whether whether it's going to be used for a journal journaling arting um, shopping list photographs uh, just you know whatever Whatever, see, so that, and then that one's going to flip out, and it's going to have a pocket. It's going to be a lot of pockets. So you got to leave room for growth, okay? Because they do get more thicker, more thicker. So there I am creating the initial fold, and that's where the rubber band or the hair band will fit into that. And this is the fold for the flip out part. And... Now I'm going to measure for the part I'm going to cut off. It's just, you know, serendipity that these bags worked out uh, to this size. Because, yeah, I, I mean, if I said the word perfect, that would just be weird, wouldn't it? But it just worked out so perfect. Because, see, just fold it up. And I take that piece and fold it in half. And it's the same stinking width of, of the pages. Look. Uh, can you believe that stuff? I was going to say shit, but I don't want to say that word. Can you believe that crap stuff? Yeah, you know. So there it is. And now I've got my pages. 
my signature because I'm just doing one signature because I'm only going to use one hairband. You, of course, can use as many signature and as many hair bands as you choose as long as you're, it fits within the spine. Now, uh, sometimes I cut that little flappy part off at this time. I am not. I'm going to uh, have some, these are scrap papers. Uh, for me, I pretty much destined to go in the recycle bin. Yeah, they're not necessarily pretty. That's book pages that I had glued together and did some uh, printing, mono printing, painting, some such on. And here again, kawinka dinkily. When I cut them up, uh, you know, into pieces, two pieces like that, trim it just a little bit. I hardly have tiny, tiny little bits of waste. It just, it just fits on there. Again, I apologize for the wind because I keep moving my hand around and, and it keeps blowing across the mic. I know it sounds terrible. So I'm going to make that a pocket. I was going to glue the whole thing down. And I thought, you know what? I can just glue the three sides, you know, two sides and the bottom. And then I'll have two pockets. Yeah. Because I'm going to leave the flap there and that creates a pocket as well. And we're going to do a thumb knot. And that's just a little trick with the washi tape. I will link to my tips, tidbits, and whatnot video series. So you can learn more about that tip. It's in one of the videos there. I don't know which one. Man, them wind chimes is to blow it. Just a blow it. The wind is getting a windier. And that's just some parchment paper I lay in there. I'm going to put it uh, there in the crevices to help keep uh, the extra glue from scrooching out and scrooching and gluing too much together. So then I'm just flipping it all out again. Flip it out. Flip it out. Here's my hair bin. Hair bin. I'm going to put it on there because I kind of want my pages in this order. Not that it necessarily even matters because we're going to sort of decorate on and embellish these pages. Now, I'm not a real big embellisher, okay? So, don't, don't be expecting a whole lot of fanciness, all right? Yeah, I'm going to play it by ear because I really had no plans other than you saw the stuff I brought out there. Uh, and that's a, a, a glue gun, a tape gun, advanced tape glider tool that a friend of mine just gave me. And I don't even know what kind of tape, if that's permanent or removable. I think it's permanent because it feels pretty permanent. So anyway, that's what I'm using because it was free. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. So glue that down. And I have a die cut. Uh, or I used that red paper y'all saw earlier. And I uh, ran it through uh, die cutter, uh, birds in flight, border, or whatever thing. Ingredients in the description box below, people. And uh, that is Aileen's Quick Dry in that there bottle. Okay? Should I repeat a list of ingredients in the box below? Anyway. So glue that on there. Ah, it's pretty. It's pretty plain, but it's pretty. Yeah. Don't get real fancy. And... Our first page is decorated. Now we're going to put this on the second page because I'm like, I think you're supposed to decorate every page. I don't know if you're supposed to. I'm, I end up not decorating every page. I know. I'm calling that a decoration. See, there was a pocket. And that's uh, on the outside part of the um, paper bags, you know, where they put the seam is. And it was a little loose. So I ended up having to glue all those. Well, I guess I didn't have to, but I chose to. And uh, that's a piece of paper that was literally, literally destined to go into garbage. But I did kind of hang on to it because I thought, surely we can do something with it. And look, once again, <laughs> it fit on there almost perfectly. Almost. I mean, it was, it was real stinking close, okay? So we're going to smear, and it is paper and not cardstock. Not that it necessarily matters, but I'm brushing out the glue, and I forgot to clean my brush, and it got glued. Yeah, so I have it soaking in um, Murphy's oil and water mixture. I've not checked on it for a few days because 
Hubby's been on vacation, and so he's been home, and you know, it's just how it goes. And that little bit of peace, I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to make a little tuck corner spot thingy. Isn't that what they call them? Tuck, tuck spots. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm spitting on this little tuck spot. And it worked pretty good. Mm hmm. So we're going to move on and see there's a pocket. Oh, glue that little flippy, loose flippy flappy thingy. There we go. Yes, keep an eye on the time because I sped it up and you know my voiceover and all that. Oh, I pulled out some washi tape. This was not trash. This was, yeah, in my use it drawer. And there's like this seam thing, you know, from the bottom of the bag. And I'm trying to cover that up because for whatever reason, I let it annoy me. Of course, a lot of you journalists probably said, well, I would have just put a mat on every page, been done with it. Or add some lace or what not -age. So, yeah, here we go. Another little piece, making it look like it's supposed to be there and not stand out too badly. Oh, windy, but it's nice. It's pleasant. Well, I say it's pleasant. We had very, 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 very little, the smallest amount of humidity ever in my entire life, I think, recently. And uh, no, it's not true anymore. Now it's back to normal humidity. So that was a little piece of scrap that was laying on my table, and I trimmed it up just a little bit more. It has a number on it and a crown. You know, the kind of crown a king or queen wears. Not a TR or a crown like I wear, even though I'm a queen. <laughs> I'm the queen of me. I'm the bossy pants of me. Well, the wind my have you <laughs> Or should I say, yeah. So that's the closure. I finished it all up. I just did that pretty much on uh, everything. And I'm going to do a run, a uh, little flip through here. Because that's essentially how I did every page. And you can see there's like two little pockets. And I cut some uh, cardstock and made little taggages or mats or whatever journal spots. And I see I did not decorate every page. But I think I show you ever patch. Ever patch? There's those red birds again. Let's see, here's another pocket. They got a lot of pockets in it, right? So it's going to get pretty fluffy. There's a little tag. I made a little tag. And I had some little leftover pieces. I kind of glued them together. And I'm sticking, uh, there's washi tape. I'm sticking um, the little leftover bits in the far back uh, pocket. And whoever ends up with this one can do what they choose with that. They can use it in this journal or for something else. And this is a funny little belly band. I did Caddy Whompers. And sneeze. Oh, sneeze. No, it's a fake out sneeze. Dad coming. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna. Did I show you? Sort of. You'll see on the photo montage, I'll show you kind of what's in there. And if a guy gets this journal, you can cut off the handles or not. So there we go. It's a button with a little um, piece of elastic closure. And I got a little, a little photo montage. Just a little photo montage. <laughs> I like them. Sorry about that. I'm... You know, I kind of missed that sneeze, and now my nose is all weirded out. Does it sound funny to you? It sounds funny to me. So see? A little twine in there, and some little bits and bots and stuff like that. Here's that little quick disclaimer screen telling you to look in the description box. Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.